in the first two months of 2024, China's export growth had saw a double-digit explosive rise of an increase of 10.3%, which has astonished many observers. After all, China's foreign trade growth rate was only 0.2% in 2023. What has driven the strong performance of China's foreign trade at the beginning of the year? Surprisingly, the credit goes to products like furniture, home appliances, and clothing, which have contributed to significant export growth in the first two months of 2024. Last year, China experienced considerable pressure in the exports of traditional advantage products, ranging from furniture, clothing, to smartphones and computers. However, as 2024 started, these traditional advantage products have seen a remarkable turnaround in export growth rate, with the exports of furniture of domestic brands, smartphones and cosmetics up by 60.7%, 55.7%, and 37.3% respectively. What happened behind that reverse trend? On the one hand, the emergence of new models like cross-border e-commerce serves as an indispensable driving factor. How rapidly is China's e-commerce going global? In 2023, during the Black Friday, TikTok shop in the US recorded a daily trading volume of over 33 million US dollars. AliExpress emerged as a mobile app with the largest number of new users in Republic of Korea. Temu, which has launched in the US in September 2022, has expanded its global outreach to over 40 countries within one and a half year. With the four cross-border e-commerce giants, namely AliExpress, TikTok Shop, Temu, and Xin, China has astonished foreign customers with its Chinese power. The products on such online platforms are many labor-intensive products, like clothing, cosmetics, home appliances, and furniture the ones with the highest growth rate in export, as mentioned above. On the other hand, in the first two months of 2024, market procurement exports of China's cross-border e-commerce achieved a staggering growth rate of 15.9%. Just in 2023, new energy vehicles have ignited success of leading manufacturers. In 2024, cross-border e-commerce have also brought small and medium-sized enterprises to the world winning them countless overseas orders. On April 15th, the 135th Canton Fair, hailing as China's number one fair, will kick off. What opportunities will such a fair, with a dedication to the import and export of small and medium-sized commodities, bring for overseas clients and SMEs? Let's wait and see.